I think it's safe to say that Chef Gordon Ramsay has gone through a lot during the 20 seasons of Hell's Kitchen. From dealing with asshole contestants and customers to the overall dumb mistakes, the poor man has probably aged an extra 20 years due to the stress of it all. However, while almost every chef in Hell's Kitchen has pissed off Chef Ramsay in some way or another, very few have completely broken the man. But even the iconic Gordon Ramsay has his breaking points. What's going on guys? I'm Flint Masters and today we'll be looking at five times Hell's Kitchen contestants completely broke Gordon Ramsay. Remember, these aren't your typical Ramsay getting frustrated at overcooked risotto moments. These are moments that broke Ramsay on the inside and in some cases literally caused him pain. Before we begin, if you love Hell's Kitchen, then please be sure to smash that like and subscribe button as this is the only place to find Hell's Kitchen content like this on YouTube. With all that said, let's relive Gordon Ramsay's most broken Hell's Kitchen moments. Yeah, dry your fucking yeah. mouth, you dirty go. fucking... At number 5 is the first time Chef cloth. completely broke Gordon Ramsay to the point where he officially took matters into his own hands and didn't play by the rules. For the first season of Hell's Kitchen, Ramsay had a standard set of rules, the main one being that there would be one winning team and one losing team. But after the episode 4 service of season 2, the worst service in the show's history up until that point, Chef Ramsay had enough and for the first time ever, declared both teams as losers. You, come here you, fat Hey, Donut, come here you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I've had enough. I've had enough! I cannot believe you're actually attempting to f the restaurant. From the blue team, nominate someone that's going tonight. And from the red team, come back with someone that's leaving. Now get out! Out! I don't think we're getting dessert. I don't <laughs> Again, this was the first time Chef Ramsay would break his own set of rules, something we've grown used to seeing over the years, such as eliminating people without nomination, sending home people from the winning team, and more. This was a service so bad that not even two seasons into the show, Chef Ramsay realized he had to take drastic measures, as it probably would have killed him on the inside to award a winning team that night. What I've realized tonight, that standing in front of me now, sadly, is a bunch of fast food chefs. At number 4 comes from the final 6 black jacket service of season 6. Yes, a black jacket service that featured 3 of the greatest chefs in Hell's Kitchen history somehow managed to break Chef Ramsay. Maybe due to the talent of the final 6, Ramsay's expectations were a little too high, but after seeing this talented group struggle so badly all night, for the first and only time in Hell's Kitchen history, Ramsay gave up on his own brigade and literally left his own restaurant. Let's go. Okay, uh, come here. Fuck off. It's not worth it. Them. What the hell is going on? Can't take it anymore. I cannot take it anymore. Un real. Oh, f me. That's the first. They're gone. So they are they coming back? I can't take it anymore. He would eventually come back, but I truly think Ramsey was losing his sanity at that point and wanted to get out of there before he did something stupid. I mean, this was Pete Gordon Ramsey after all. And speaking of Pete Gordon Ramsey from season six. The first service of the season is usually always a disaster, and to be fair, Ramsay expects a ton of mistakes, but again, there's mistakes, and then there's what Louis and Melinda did that night. For some reason, Melinda decided it would be a good idea to throw away all the pasta into the trash, while Louis simply had one of the worst services in Hell's Kitchen history. The combination of these two in one service literally caused Ramsay's voice to break in one of the most iconic moments ever. Look at this! Look! This. So the violin. Look! 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 What the f this? Look at all this. F Who's putting all this in the bin? How many portions are you putting in there? How much is in the bin? Look! Look! What the f is this? Look at it! What are you doing, Melinda? Making me mad! Yes, sir. Mad. Yes, sir. Special shout out to Sarah from season two as well. The first person to break the voice of Chef Ramsay and the earliest meme in the show's history. If you saute scallops in a nonstick pan, they won't stick. That's why it's called nonstick. Most of the time in Hell's Kitchen, the chefs cause Ramsay emotional pain, but sometimes chefs cause Gordon Ramsay actual physical pain. The signature dish challenge in Hell's Kitchen is a great opportunity for the chefs to make a good first impression on Ramsay, but whether it's due to the pressure or simply not realizing Gordon Ramsay's insane standards just yet, most chefs, especially in the earlier seasons, made pretty bad first impressions. But two chefs in particular stand out when it comes to bad signature dishes, and they are Antonia from season 8 and Matt from season 4. They produce plates so bad that it literally made Chef Ramsay sick. What is it? It's a uh, Mardi Gras gumbo. Oh, God. 
Hmm. It's gonna be good. Uh, oh, excuse me. <coughs> now. Oh, God. Are you crazy? No, I didn't get a chance to taste it, Chef. I didn't get a chance to taste it, Chef. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. I did no fucking remotely considered, self-considered, Chef. Doesn't taste the fucking food. Must be one of the worst combinations I've ever tasted in 21 years of cooking. Piss off, will you? The most broken a chef has ever made Gordon Ramsay comes from episode 3 of season 4. Jason Underwood is one of the most pathetic chefs to ever grace Hell's Kitchen, as he was a sexist pig and sucked the entire competition. So Ramsay decided to give him a break and put him on the dessert station. I mean, like two people have ever done poorly on desserts, this should be no problem, right? Well, let's just say that Jason is so pathetic that his failures made Ramsay feel emotional and physical pain. The absolute epitome of a broken man. Jason! Yes? What's happening with the desserts? The souffles are not coming out right at all. They're sticking. Come here a minute. Okay. I'm trying something new. I'm gonna put a little sugar and rub it around the rim and try to get that. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. You're gonna get some sugar and rub it around the rim. And the cocoa powder and try to see if that keeps them from sticking. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once more, if you like these Hell's Kitchen <clears throat> for Gordon.